Hello, this is Paul from One Ledger. Today for this video, we're going to demonstrate some of the more interesting features from the One Ledger MVP. After we've completed the setup, we'll go through a small set of the basic features and tests that we've released. Go! The first part of this demonstration is installation and setup. Here we're going to clone uh, our repo directly from GitHub. It'll pull it down, and uh, we can go into the main level directory and do a docker build, and it will start to build. This takes about 20 minutes to complete, and it's finished. And now, once we have the, uh, the docker image, we can do a run directly, uh, and this will drop us into a prompt for, the, uh, for the, the rest of the demo. So we have a number of scripts that we've set up in various locations in the system. At the top level, there's this make file that you can see here. This file um, has a whole bunch of targets that allow us to drive some of the functionality at the higher level and make things quite easy. So for instance, we can do a make install. This will build all the code and put it in the proper binaries. Um, from here we can also do uh, make targets like full test. This is a pretty simple demonstration of resetting the chain, uh, registering the accounts, doing a, a slight send, and then looking at the balances. So we can see here that we are, um, we've set up everything, we've reset it, and now we're starting up. And now we'll go through the registration process. For this part, we're actually using a predefined set of users, and we're creating them, we're registering them with the chain, we're setting up all their accounts. It's a, it's a bit of a dance because we have to bring things up and down in order to do the registration and the broadcast. Um, and we're just about finished, so we've brought everything up. And from here, we will quickly do a send, which you can't see because it happens pretty quickly, between a whole bunch of accounts. And we will then print out the balances for everything. So we can go to each node, and we can look at what balances we have. So we can see Bob's node there, Alice's node coming up. Um, now we have um, all the identities that we've seen in the system, and uh, followed by just the uh, basic account. And this gives us a list of everything in the system. So now we'll look at uh, starting, stopping, and resetting. So we have a scripts in the script directory, and we can use the start one ledger script to get everything started up. This is a pretty simple script. It just goes through the nodes one at a time, starting each one. And as they all come up, um, we can bring them all down if we so choose. We just stop the entire chain. So, reversing out of here, we do a uh, down. Now, stopping comes down quite a bit faster than starting, of course. Um, we can start an individual node, so in this case, we will start up Bob. You know, Bob's up, and, uh, and it comes up quite quickly. Um, if we want, we can start the entire chain while Bob's running. And we'll note that David comes up, followed by Alice, and... Carol actually shows up. Bob didn't actually need to get started. We started earlier. Um, just to kind of show that we can go through and we can reverse back and we can stop um, Alice, right? Um, and that will just bring down Alice, leaving the other three nodes up and running. Uh, we can start up Alice again and it will rejoin the chain and everything will now we can do a make reset at any time we want and just reverse the chain back. We would prefer to do this sometimes because it just speeds up the testing. We don't need to let a lot of blocks accrue. So here we will start up um, Bitcoin. Um, and you can see that we actually get an error here. Uh, Bitcoin needs to be initialized before it starts. So uh, first thing we really have to do here is um, do a reset on Bitcoin. And that will clear up the errors. Okay, so we'll do a reset on Bitcoin. This will clean up everything, reset the chain, allocate all the accounts, and it takes a few minutes because there's lots going on here. Um, and now it's all set up and ready to go. Section will be uh, creating identities. We're using the standard uh, Alice, Bob, 
Carol and uh, David, although we switched the order on the slightly so David starts first, of course. Um, so we start up the, uh, the, the one ledger chain with the four basic nodes, and uh, we go into the registration. When we register, um, we will set up identities for everybody, for David and now for Alice. It will be, the identity will be known across the chain. Um, however, the accounts that they are actually using for one ledger, for Bitcoin, for Ethereum, for any other chains are actually local to their own specific nodes. Um, we do this so that the trust is there, so that we're not actually putting this stuff out on the entire chain. So now we can just do a account, and we can see that for each node, Alice, for Bob, for Carol, um, they have the stuff that they go. And uh, you can see that the, the one ledger chain is up now, and the other ones are currently sitting idle. Uh, we can look at the accounts again, and um, we see that uh, all the different parts of the parameters are there, and everything's going on. So now we'll look at uh, minting. Once we've set up the account, we really need them to have some balances in order for them to trade. So we said have a test mint facility which allows you to um, to transfer from the overall genesis balance of the account into each individual account. This part happens to reset the register reset the chain and go through the registration again just to ensure that um, that when we're testing that we have an even base so we know that everything so as we can see, the chain re-registers, and here we are minting the actual um, accounts. It goes by really quickly, so there's not much to see here. And then we can now show the accounts as they're coming up on the screen. So just for the advanced users, we can take a look at a couple of the underlying processes involved in the one ledger chain. We'll just really go through the help files here and show the, um, the global help for full node. This is the, uh, the node that's actually running for, um, for our chain. Uh, as we saw earlier that there were four of them going. Um, we can look at some of their specific features like account. And we can see list the options here and what's available. Um, we can look at um, the full node for actually the startup and this will when you do full node start, that starts the actual thing server and, and sets it running. And we also have a full light client here, the help file, in global. Um, so we can see the global options. We can see the options for um, functionality like register. Right? We have the registration. Um, we, have, um, we have options for send as well. And uh, that's great. That concludes our demonstration for today. Uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions or you just want to know more about uh, what's happening with our, our project for the development side or um, any other issues, uh, please contact us on t.me slash one ledger dev. Thanks for your time and have a great day.